so this video has been circulating and i decided not to post it or say anything about it because i was waiting for the government response so at the the law the Baluta and the youths have declared a full force revolution um scale against zambia so now just listen to this Viva the king of Balosland! Viva! Viva Mukela Manyando! Viva! Viva Mukela Manyando! Viva! Viva Balosland! Viva! Viva Balosland! Viva! Our dear Balosland nationals, we are here to inform you that today Balosland is under the laws of predators. Zambia's intent is to exterminate Balosland from the face of the globe. Fellow countrymen and women, do not be fooled. The president of Zambia is not a sovereign leader in Barosland. Well, he just him. inherited the obligations of Her Majesty the Queen of Baros, the Queen of Britain, in 1964, who no was not a sovereign Zambia. ruler in Barosland Protectorate. Knowing that the agreement of 1964, we intended to associate with we, we intended to associate with Zambia, is revoked and repudiated by both Zambia and Barosland. Therefore, Zambia is occupying Barosland illegally. Yes. Yes. We are not Zambians. There is nothing that makes the Baros people Zambians. Our great king, King Lewanika, was born in 1842 in Barosland Kingdom, and some of his sons and daughters were born in the 1880s in Barosland. So what makes his grandchildren Zambians? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Barosland is experiencing black to black coloni colonialism. Yes. We yes. therefore yes. reject it. Mm. We reject forced assimilation that is trying to make the Baros people Zambians by means of arms, barrel of a gun and handcuffs. <laughs> Zambia dishonored the Barosland Agreement in 1964. We therefore urge the Zambian government to respect the law of treaties which states that once a treaty is dishonored, the parties to the treaty should refrain from making each other's territory the object of acquisition by means of military occupation or by direct or indirect measure of force. We yes. say no to Zambia. Having said that, we, the offsprings of those who possessed Barosland Kingdom, do hereby today in Seshake region of Royal Barosland declare a full-scale revolution across Barosland against Zambia's illegal occupation of Barosland. Yes. Thank you very much. Bolozi! Yoruna! Bolozi! Yoruna! Bolozi! Yoruna! Abash Zambia! Abash! Abash Echech! Abash! Abash Echech! Abash! Abash Mwetwa! Abash! So first to start with this guy who was reading this um statement who is he in the first place and what powers or authority does he have in western province to come out and read this statement a statement that has got the capacity to cause disunity and anarchy in the in that region and this is why i say zambia is a very 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 tolerant country I don't care what people are going to say or attack me in the comment section when it comes to this. But all I can say for the start is that Zambia is very, very tolerant. And I feel very much offended by this statement that this guy is reading. Just, this, that does not even go to um, uh, uh, disturbed countries or disorganized countries. Not even, that does not even go to all these countries like the Central Republic um or it does not even go to you know west africa where they have all these civil wars and all that let's just look at um countries like russia for example a very well organized and developed country like russia did you see what happened to the opposition leader just the opposition leader who was not even um inciting violence who was not even uh, uh, calling for the separate division or you know uh, asking you know trying to create a state within a state he was just simply an opposition leader. He died in incarceration. He died in prison. Not even long ago. Was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? He died in prison. But if you see Russia, very developed country. Now look at Zambia. We are far from Russia. And we are allowing this kind of thing to happen. That just shows you how much democracy there is in zambia how much tolerant the law is in zambia because in other countries these these youths they will not even the moment they just finish 
reading that statement, they will be very sorry for themselves. And the other thing is that these youths, they, I think they didn't just come up by themselves to come and even start reading that statement. Somebody is backing them up. They are just a, a hungry group of youths that don't have anything to do, that were, you know, just pushed by, you know, some people to come and write, read that statement. Who are they to declare that they are no longer part of Zambia? Why didn't the Ditunga himself come out and read and st st state that we are no longer part of Zambia? Why didn't the, uh, the other chiefs within the region come and read that statement? Who are these boys to come and read these statements to the country? Who are these to come and, who are these youths to come and make such demands of the government? And saying President, the Zambian president is not the legitimate leader in that in that, uh, in, in that, in Balotseland. That is treason. That is treasonous. Honestly, that is treasonous. We understand. And I, I, in the last video, I even made it clear. I made it clear that I understand that people of Balotseland feel like they are very much behind when it comes to development. But the truth of the matter is that Zambia entirely is not developed at all. It is not just Western province. Like I said in the previous video, it is only Lusaka, part of Lusaka, not even the whole Lusaka, just part of Lusaka, and part of the Copper Belt that we can say that, okay, they have at least areas that are developed. The rest of Zambia is not developed. Go to Rwapula, go to Kasama, go to Eastern Province. When you go to Eastern Province, you people riding bicycles, hills everywhere, uh, houses with uh, um, hearts. I know no electricity, no running water, nothing, no roads, nothing. When you go, when, when you look at the so-called schools in, in some of those regions, they are just made of mud. People sit on the ground, no desk, nothing. It's not just in, in, in Western province. So what, what, what is the motive behind this? The Zambian government is very tolerant, honestly. And... The, the, the reason why I said I did not post this video is I was hoping that, you know, I'll see the, maybe they will see the government reaction to this. We understand that the government are trying to do, uh, to handle things through diplomatic means. But if they take, you know, uh, longer to solve this problem, it is going to cause a lot of confusion. Because this statement, it's a, it is very dangerous. It is undermining the government authority within that region. And these people... All their lives. Okay, and the other thing is, we had the elections in 2021. When it was time to vote, the majority of these people all went to go and vote. Why did they go and vote if they are not Zambians? Why didn't they say that we are not Zambians, so we are not going to vote? Instead, they went and voted. Do you see the level of hip hip hypocrisy? Honestly, I feel very much offended by this statement. And what annoys me more is that the government has not responded to this. And you know, I was saying before I said it, like ECO arrested some of those people that were making such claims. ECO arrested them. And we saw that the whole story became very quiet. If they were, if they are diehard, if, the, if these people are very diehard um, um, uh, activists for Baloseland, even after they were getting arrested during ECO's time, why didn't they continue? They got scared because they are not diehard activists. They are just, people are just trying to, to have, you know, a quick uh, get rich plan. You know, when we break away from Zambia, then we get rich, you know, we take uh, the minerals in this place, we start doing this, start doing that. Honestly, Zambia, the Zambian government is very tolerant. These people in other countries, they will be somewhere in prison without even knowing what is going to happen to them next in other countries. But you see how beautiful Zambia is. They are still, after even issuing such a very, very sensitive statement, they are even at home right now, probably even having breakfast, lunch, and thinking of, you know, where they are going to go and all that. Hypocrites. When they get sick, they go to hospitals, the hospitals that were built by the Zambian government. When they have disputes, they, send, they, they go to court, the courts that are under the Zambian government. When, when they finish high school, they go to universities mostly built by the Zambian government. They even apply for scholarships, 
sponsored by the Zambian government. You know, they apply for bursaries, and yet they still come here to, to come and talk this. Anyway, um, before I say something else, uh, anyway, let me know what you think about this statement. And I don't care even if you criticize me. This is this is just my opinion. I think this is not right. Anyway, thank you for watching until the end. Thank you.